What's going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel. If you can, do a boy a favor and go ahead and subscribe to this channel and give it a thumbs up. Now today, what we're going to be talking about is basically a work from home area. Now, a lot of us, due to the pandemic, we really didn't have a work from home area. So a lot of us had to figure it out. Just like myself, I really didn't have a work from home space, a work from home area. So I had to figure out exactly, well, what was it that I was going to do? A lot of us were basically working out of our kitchen table or our countertop at homes. But we can actually build our own, our own desk. And that's exactly what I did. Well, I was searching for desks and basically I really couldn't find anything that really appealed to me. I was searching for gaming desks or I was searching for regular desks and none of it really was appealing. One day I was watching a YouTuber and he mentioned that well, he built his own desk from a butcher block, a countertop, a, just a regular countertop. And I thought to myself, well, that's something I can do. So I set out on a mission, find myself a countertop that I basically like and build it the way that I wanted it to look. The YouTuber mentioned that he got his butcher block from Ikea. So I went to Ikea and well, it was there. It was for almost $200 and I said, well, okay, it looked pretty nice. The problem with that was that when I put pressure on the countertop, you could see it waging. And the more I look at it, it looked like it was made out of sawdust. And to me, that wasn't really, that really didn't appeal to me. So I went to Home Depot and Lowe's and I was able to find one on Lowe's website. I was able to find a 72 inch butcher block, which was made out of pure wood and um, had to do a little bit more extra work to it to get it to look appealing, um, to get it to look like a real desk. And that's exactly what I did. I had to stain it a few times and do some extra work to it. But at the end, it was actually looking pretty well. That was the first step. The second step was to, well, do I want it to be a standard desk or do I want it to be a regular desk? And I went with a standard desk. So I had to find a frame for the standard desk. Now, a lot of people like to go with the desk autonomous because, well, it is the top of the line. Um, they are well known. So you really don't have to go with just one brand unless you're just dedicated to that brand. But there are so many out there that you can choose from. So here's a timeless video of me building my desk. 